Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about median value, how to calculate the median and how we use it as a central tendency, measure of central tendency. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about symmetric and asymmetric distributions. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is uh, provided in the description below. Coming to today's uh, class, uh, we will understand how to calculate the median value. So with an example, we go with an example. If you take the first example, given this is the data set, uh, 25, 20, 15, 35, 18, these are the values that are provided. Uh, so how to find the median value? So arrange these elements in the sorted order in ascending or descending order. After arranging these elements 15, 18, 20, 25, 35, pick the middle one. That is what we call it as median value. So median is equal to middle value. Here we are having odd number of data points. That's why we have easily picked the middle value. That's why, but what happens if you take the, if your data consists of even values? Let's take an example. 25, 20, 15, 35, 18, 19, sort the values, after sorting the values, 15, 18, 19, 20, 25, 35. The middle two values, 19, 20, take the mean of these two values in middle two values and take it as a median value. Mean, mean of middle two values is median, 19 plus 20 by 2 that is equal to 19.5. This is how we calculate the median value. So let's try to understand uh, when we need to use this median value, in which situations we are, we, median is best practice. Uh, in our last class when we discussed about the mean value, so if, if your data consists of outliers, let's take an example, whatever the example we considered when we discussed about the arithmetic mean, let's take the salaries of employees, uh, most of the salaries, most of the employee salaries are around 90 to 35,000, uh, 19, 20, 25, 28, 30, 35. If you add CEO salary to this employee salary also, CEO salary is 250. If you calculate the mean as a measure of central tendency, this outlying point, outlier point uh, is going to take the, if you calculate the mean value, the mean values always move towards this maximum one because we are adding all the values and divided by number of values but that's why the mean will comes around here we are not getting exact central value in this type of situations whenever there are outliers we can calculate the median we can take median as our central tendency this is one of the situation and next one is if you are having the skewed data in our last class we discussed about right and left skewed uh, data go with median value whenever you are having skewed data go with the median value let's try to understand with an example this is uh, the example which we considered yearly income uh, of our population and the frequencies are provided assume that these are thousand uh, uh, on thousand population uh, we have taken this data set so most of the population comes here so on 1000 population, if you are taking this data set, uh, you, you have to take the central tendency means uh, 500. 500 uh, population should be on the left, 500 population on the right. That is what the measure of central tendency means. Uh, but if you calculate the mean value here, because as the income is increasing, the our mean value is moved towards this uh, highest income. But if you take the median value, we will arrange them in the ascending order, pick the middle one, exactly we will get the half of them to the other side and half to the this side, right side. That's why median is best practice if you are having the skewed data. Now coming to the one important point you have to understand, 19, 20, 21, 25, 35, assume that this is our data, what's the median value we consider here, 21. But uh, the median value is 21, but take the one more example. Keep 21 like this, change the values 10, 15, 45, 85. We changed the values but still the median value is 21. It is not getting affected with the other numbers. But in your application, if you need the central tendency value based on, a, it should be get affected based on the remaining values also. Then median is not the best practice to go to take it as a central tendency. Okay, this is the point, important point you have to understand. So this is all about median, how to calculate the median if the frequencies are given, continuous frequencies are given, that we are going to discuss in our next classes. Hope you understand the concept of median. 
If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.